There are some formatting tips I'm going to recommend for forms where you have a main form and a subform. First thing I'm going to do is go to an example we have over here, uh, the client's example. Let's see what that looks like. Here's my observations on this particular layout. First of all, we want to make sure this label's changed to something more meaningful. So we're going to call that orders. So it indicates that this is all about the order information. Secondly, this is a bit wide. I think that might be too wide as well. And also the amount column is too wide. I recommend we get rid of this scroll bar. And down here we have the record selectors. But we also got record selectors down here and that can be confusing for some end users. So for this example if you don't have too many orders per client I recommend we remove this record selector so it'll make it a little bit clearer. So let's go and make those edits. First thing I'm going to single click in there and then double click and type in orders and hit enter. Looks a little bit better. I just want to have a little bit more space between these two items here so click on there and just go up to this handle, the top left handle and just drag up slightly. That looks a little bit better to me. Next thing I want to do is I'm just going to go up here and drag to the left. Let's make these a little bit narrower. And that's the last field. So the reason I don't have this field right up to the edge is because if you start getting a reasonable number of orders in here, you're going to have a scroll bar appear, a vertical scroll bar down here. And if that is all, all the way over to the edge, it's going to also generate a horizontal scroll bar here, which you don't want. And we'll see what see what I mean here. I'm just going to put in any old data, and you can see that appear. And that looks untidy. So my recommendation to you is always have just enough room at the edge so that the scroll bar can appear. If I, if I delete some of these records, you can see that's about the right amount of space. To save those changes let's just click on save. And next we're going to remove the record selectors. Go design view. Right, double click on there, this little square on the subform. I'm going to click property sheet and under the format tab navigation buttons. I'm just going to remove those. I'm just going to double click. You can see they're gone. So it's a little bit clearer now. We have the navigation buttons down here. Sorry, I was referring to those as record selectors earlier on, which is not true. That's the record selector. No, in actual fact, navigation buttons. So there's no navigation buttons anymore on the orders table. So if we have plenty of orders in there, We can always just use the scroll bar to navigate down to the other orders which are off the edge of the screen. We don't really need navigation buttons 
for the subform. And that makes it a little bit clearer for people to understand rather than having these two navigation buttons next to each other. So those are my recommendations for having a main form and a subform, keeping it nice and tidy and organised. I hope you find that useful. One last tip is this client ID column. You can see it's always going to be one if we're on this client. If we go to the next client, it's going to change to two, three, and so on. So we don't really need it there. So I'm going to recommend you right mouse click on the head section and go hide columns. And that's all the data we really need in the subform. Now we've got too much space to the right here now. So what I'm going to recommend is if you move just to the, the edge there, if I go that distance, it's got two vertical lines. If I go a bit further, it's got one. Now here's a little important distinction. We have a column here, the client ID column, which is hidden. Imagine it is very, very thin just at the end there. So if I just go to the edge, left mouse click and drag, you can see it's opened out that column. And I can drag it back. So if I right mouse click and hide that column, it's just kind of perched at the end. So moving there with the two vertical arrows, we can't actually widen this out. Let's just hide those again. But if you go to where there's one vertical column, we can widen that out. Although perhaps an easy way in this instance, you could just go to the column over there just widen that out. But just bear in mind that there is a distinction between the two vertical arrows and the single vertical arrow.